I'm Camila Concilio and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at Karolinska Institute. And I received the 2021 Michelson Prizes to understand how testosterone impacts the human immune system. I chose to become a scientist because I've always been very curious to understand the world around me. And so I chose specifically to go into the biomedical field to try to understand why people develop diseases and to try to find ways to better treat these diseases and prevent them. So my research is trying to understand how the immune system is different between men and women. And so we know that, for example, men tend to have more severe infections when compared to females. But on the flip side, women tend to have higher responses to vaccinations. So why is this? Why is it that women and men have these differences in immunity that can contribute to their susceptibility to different diseases, such as infectious diseases and autoimmunity? My research is trying to understand how a specific sex hormone, testosterone, that is different between males and females is impacting the immune system of humans. And so by trying to understand the impacts of testosterone and immunity, we can better understand how to prevent and treat infectious diseases and design optimal vaccine strategies that can fit one's biological sex. And so in my research, I'm combining highly advanced technologies that allow you to look at different components of the immune system all at the same time with computational methods. The Mycosin Prizes will help me address a question that I've been interested in for a really long time of how is it that males and females have differences in their immune responses. And so by understanding how biological sex impacts the immune function, we can now understand better how diseases are developing differently between males and females and also optimize strategies to treat these infectious diseases such as developing vaccine um, strategies that are fitting to one's biological sex. Hello, my name is Camila Concilio and I'm a Marie Curie Fellow at the Karolinska Institute in Sweden. Today, I'm going to present to you our research on investigating the effects of testosterone on the human immune system. One question that our lab is interested in is understanding how does immune variation contribute to diseases in humans? And let's take COVID-19 as an example. We know that people that have been infected with SARS-CoV-2 can develop a variety of different symptoms from no symptoms at all, all the way to severe disease and death. And although we have now identified a few factors that can predispose to severe disease and death, such as biological sex and some comor comorbidities, we know we still don't know who will develop which. Therefore, it's highly important that we understand how the immune system varies between individuals so we can not only better prevent infectious diseases such as SARS-CoV-2, but better treat them as well as other immune-mediated diseases. One aspect that we're really interested in understanding this immune variation between individuals is biological sex. And this is because biological sex impacts immune function and disease susceptibility. So it's known in general that males can have more severity of infections when compared to females. And this is happening across different types of infections, such as viral infections in the case of SARS-CoV-2, but also bacterial, fungal, and parasitic infections. Males also develop cancer at a higher rate when compared to females. And on the flip, flip side, females have higher vaccine responses where they can respond with two times as many antibodies to certain vaccines when compared to males. 
However, this comes at the expense of having higher side effects from vaccines, as well as higher rates of autoimmunity in females. And so why is it that this happens? There are three major factors that underlie the sex differences in immunity and sex um, and disease susceptibility, but, and these are societal factors, genetics, where we know that males present with a Y chromosome, whereas females um, and humans at least have two X chromosomes. And there's also sex hormones that are different between males and females and vary throughout their lives. However, one challenge in understanding the difference between the genetic and the sex hormone contribution to human immunity in humans is that it's really difficult to tear these apart, genetics and sex hormones. Secondly, we really need a more comprehensive approach to investigate human immunity, where, for example, we have a variety of different cell types, functional states, and protein and peptides that interplay and interact with one another to outcome as a immune function. And so what we usually do is to take whole blood and many classic immunology studies would focus in maybe one cell type on, or one protein at a time, which is really important in a sense that can be, these studies can be highly mechanistic, but they tend to be um, low throughput. And so in order to tackle this, we are deciphering how sex hormones affect the human immune system using systems level immunomonitoring during sex reassignment therapy. And so we have recruited a cohort that's undergoing a female to male transition. These subjects come into the clinic um, and they have a fixed genetic background. As you can tell here, over time, they will always have an XX chromosomal sex. And these subjects start receiving uh, testosterone treatment, and thus they transition from a female to a male hormonal background. And so we collect blood samples before and after these subjects are undergoing sex reassignment therapy. And with these blood samples, we're able to assess how the immune system is changing as a function of this testosterone treatment. So we focus on different layers of the immune system, such as the plasma proteome, we also look at the immune cells in terms of their phenotype and composition, as well as their transcriptome. If you want to, you can take a look at my poster at the session uh, at the Keystone Conference in the progress in vaccine development for infectious diseases, and I'll be happy to discuss our findings. The 2021 Michelson Prize is gonna help us advance this research by helping us focusing more on the functional responses and some also mechanistic studies in, these, um, in this question of understanding how testosterone is modulating the immune system. And so in, in terms of functional responses, we will now be looking into how testosterone is modulating antiviral immune responses. So rather than following these subjects over the period of time, we're also coupling this with functional experiments to understand rather than their baseline, functionally speaking, what would happen upon a viral infection that can be modulated and um, experimented in vitro. Furthermore, we're trying to understand as well, how is it that testosterone modulates the immune system of these subjects? So we're now gonna be doing mechanistic studies to the sex, sex hormone regulated pathways responsible for sex differences in human immune responses. Because although we know that testosterone can have effects in the human immunity, we don't know how this is happening. How is testosterone impacting each individual cell and different proteins? And so with this, I would like to acknowledge our lab, the Broden Lab at Karolinska Institute, Major components of the lab that have contributed to, to the study are highlighted here. Um, I would also like to acknowledge uh, our collaborators within Sweden uh, at the Karolinska Institute, Uppsala University, Umu University, and Linköping University that have all contributed to recruiting this cohort and doing all of these analysis um, of the cohort, as well as our funding. Um, and with that, I would be happy to talk to you during the poster session. Thank you so much.